Today we're going to review what causes the um, the lid on your uh, chlorinator. This is a CL220 chlorinator. Um, and this one, this chlorinator has been used for a number of years. Um, but I was trying to understand um, when you're uh, tightening down the, uh, the lid, um, basically uh, there's a... Uh, a snap lock position that um, when you tighten it down you should be able to get the lid to the point of locking in um, on your unit and um, this is uh, where the little hole is on the lid and it, it should lock over over this uh, little plastic pin uh, so this is a brand new lid and I bought a, uh, a new chlorinator unit to uh, take care of some other issues um, But I, what I wanted to show you is what's the difference uh, between a used lid and this is a brand new lid with um, an aftermarket o-ring and then this is a new lid and basically if you unscrew this bolt in here you can pull the uh, the lid off of the plastic cover tap and um, what I wanted to show you on this newest unit all factory parts if you look at this o-ring the o-ring is kind of like a flat ring and um, that's different than uh, if you go to uh, purchase these aftermarket o-rings they're uh, more uh, round in nature um, and I'll show you what uh, problems that causes here in a second okay so coming up to the top of the uh, chlorinator if I take the best fitting lid and I put it up here um, when you first put it on you notice there's a gap right here and um, that's going to be problematic when you're tightening this down so if you put a lot of pressure on this unit and, and I push down hard I'm pushing down okay so if you push down hard enough you'll eventually get uh, this lid to where there's no gap there let me uh, put that on the ground and push that in real quick okay so I put that on the ground and right now there is uh, no gap between the black and the, uh, the tan so then if I take this lid here put it on screw it all the way in I'll be able to get the uh, the snap lock right there in position um, also on these uh, older threads here they're a little gummy so they don't slide as easy as a brand new unit um, but you can actually get it to lock uh, when this lid uh, seats down completely if if I take this this guy right here which has got a different o-ring on there and I try to tighten that lid down um, it's never going to get to the point where there's a, a zero gap there so uh, because of that um, the uh, lock position on the lid um, instead of being locking right there you keep on tightening the lid and it's the lid um, gap steps a little bit uh, like a quarter of a turn so ho hopefully you find this uh, video useful and at the end of the day uh, you, you probably want to order the correct rubber washer and not an aftermarket one and then also clean out on the inside where this lip is uh, where all the chlorine is um, get that cleaned up over time uh, so you can make sure the lid, lid compresses all the way down and closes very easily instead of uh, short falling short of the closed position Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.